For this color blending in Adobe Illustrator example, I started by creating six squares that are not filled in with any color. And I'll talk you through how we're going to go through this process. So if you want to follow along, first start out by creating six squares in your workspace. And then what we need to do is we need to pick the colors that are going to be the outer bounds of our color blending. So I've selected my first square and I'm going to fill it in with red from this default palette. Then I'm going to select the outer color that I want to blend with, and in this case, I'm going to select this yellow. Now that I have the color selected for the outer, we need to fill this center square with the perfect orange that blends between this red and yellow. So to do that, once the square is selected, go up to Object, Blend, Blend Options. The default in the dropdown is this smooth color, but what we want to go to is the number of specified steps. And so the number of specified steps between these two colors is one. This is going to be the single color that blends between the two outer colors. So once we've selected that as the option, now we have to tell it what the two colors are. And to do that, we go over to our toolbar and we use the blend tool and we click on the two outer colors. So first I click on red and then I click on yellow. And you'll see that that is now slaved between my two outer colors. So to learn more about what that means about these color values, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and fill in the bottom squares with the exact colors above them so that we can learn more about the CMYKs of this blending process. So now that those squares are filled in, let's take a look at the CMYK of the red. It is 15, 100, 90, 10. Okay, so that's the definition of that color red that I selected to work with. And let's take a look at the yellow. The CMYK for the yellow is 5, 0, 90, 0. So what is the perfect blend between those red, that red and that yellow in orange terms? It turns out that it is the average of the C. So the red was 15 and the yellow was 5, and so the orange C is the average of that, or 10. The M for red was 100 and the M for yellow was zero, so the average orange is 50. The Y of the red was 90 and the Y of yellow was also 90, so the orange is 90 because there's no difference there. And the K value for the red was 10 and the K value for yellow was zero, making the perfect blend orange to be five. So that's the color theory behind how to get the blending that you want.